Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So I'm outside and I'm re I had to restake my tree. Let me turn the camera around. I had to restake the tree because they just mowed around the tree. And the grass that we grew there filled in pretty good, don't you think? Still got a couple bare spots and there's some weeds in there, but it's looking pretty, but I was gonna show you these bushes over here. I didn't research these very well and didn't realize that this wall, I mean, I realized it was shaded, but I thought it got some sun during the day, but it doesn't really. So these bushes are not doing, especially this one here in the middle, um, not doing very good. This one's doing good. Um, yeah, but that middle one doesn't seem to be doing well. <laughs> Um, my husband said if they, if they die, oh well, uh, we'll see next year. We'll see how they come back. Cause he eventually, he thinks now wants to get an, um, a generator hooked up to the house and he's thinking this is where he'll sit it. So if that middle one doesn't make it, I would think a generator would sit in between these two other bushes. We shall see. We shall see. They just got done mowing. I don't know if I said that. So I've got to lock this gate back up. Someone said that they um, have a lock like this. Um, and over the years, it became, I can't remember if she said it rusted or got loose. And she said that her gate will swing open sometimes, even with this locked. So um, I'll have to keep an eye on that through the years. I'm going to get a... Um, padlock to put on here too so especially we're going to be going out of town for three nights in um september and we're going up to oscoda michigan we rented a house up there right on the beach um and it, it may not be warm warm because it'll be in september but sometimes in september here in michigan um it's still warm when kids go back to school. Kids here go back to school after Labor Day weekend. Um, and sometimes it's still, still warm or sometimes it could be a little chilly, but I don't care if it's chilly. I just want to sit by the water. I don't care if I have a hoodie on. There's a fire pit right on the beach. I mean, the house is right. You walk out the back door, it's on the sand um, on Lake Huron. So um, I'll sit by the fire all day by the water. I'm just... Looking forward to getting away just to relax after this um, move this year and everything that's happened since the move. Um, yes, so I'm looking very much looking forward to it. And I wanted to come over here and see if this latch. Oh yeah, I could put a um, I can put a lock right here too, so no one can get in and the doors won't open when. Uh, my mother-in-law is here with the boys when we go away. Everybody wants to pee on my flowers I put over there by the shed. Look at them. They're all taking turns trying to pee on my flowers. <laughs> I guess at least it's just hitting the pot, not in the flowers, I hope. <laughs> yeah, I put some flowers over there thinking it'd pretty it up a little. Look at them. And he's just gonna pee on the shed. Oh, Mozzie's going to pee on the shed. Watch out, Magnum. <laughs> You're going to get your face peed on. <laughs> My husband bought this thing over here thinking he could fit our um, garbage can that um, the city provided um, every house with a garbage cans. It's a truck that like picks the garbage cans up instead of guys having to come out and get all your bags. He thought, of course he never measures anything before he buys anything on Amazon. He thought they'd fit in this little thing. They're not going to fit in this little thing. They're tall ones. They're pretty big. <laughs> so we're going to use that when we get our fire pit built to keep wood in, to keep the wood dry. So at least um, we can still use it. So yeah, so I've got to go in. It's about, what time is it? I need to see what time it is actually. It's 1038. I've got to go in and clean up Mozzie's face because we have to go to you've got to go to the doctor 
You got to get a couple vaccinations and get looked over. Um, need to get his face cleaned up. And then I've got to get Kitten's uh, cat carrier um, from upstairs because he's got to go to the vet too. So we got to be there at noon. So I'm going to have my son go with me to carry Kitten in the cat carrier while I walk in Mozzie. We don't want any problems. We don't want anyone escaping. So yeah, so that's what I gotta do. Oh, I got valances. They're not hung yet. They just came today. I had to order them on Amazon. Let's go in and I'll show them to you. I gotta wake up my son too. Come on guys. Oh, look at Mickey's like, what? I had to put all their, I always have to put all their toys up there <laughs> because um, when the mowers come, yeah, <laughs> he's like, hey. I want my toys back out here. <laughs> Maybe they're going to stay out here. You guys want to come in? Okay, I think Maggie wants to play with Milo. Alright, my kitchen's a mess, so don't mind the mess. I haven't cleaned anything yet today. Still got the dog dishes on the floor. Let me take these shoes off that I wear out there. Okay, here's the balances I got. Yes, I have my slippers on the counter. <laughs> okay, here they are. Hopefully you can see what they look like. They have a little detail to them. Boy, this really ain't showing up. They got a little detail to them on the bottom. Wasn't quite what I was looking for, but I think they're going to look pretty. I'm going to hang them up here. Oh, you can't see them. I'll have to show you once they're up, but I'm going to hang them right here. Um, am I pointing to the right thing? Right here. So it kind of sets in a little from the wall. I'm going to hang them across there. And I was having a hard time finding any because I only wanted them to be 12 inches in length. Um, so they don't block my view out the window because a lot of balances I were looking at were 15 to 17 to 18 inches long. And I'm like, that'll cover up too much of my window. <laughs> I want to be able to see outside. So... When I get back from the vet, I'll hang them up and show you.
What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? <laughs> they saw something. I don't know. Or they thought someone else saw something. So they all took off running. Okay, we're back from the vet. Um, everything went good. Mozzie did not get his vaccinations because the doctor wanted to wait until Dr. Pearson at the Animal Surgical Center. Um, until his next blood work test, she wants me to clear it with her first that it's okay for him to have his vaccines. So, um, so he didn't get any vaccines today. I'm going to wait and talk to Dr. Pearson about that. So, um, and then Kitten, um, he just got, kind of got checked over to you and they told me now that, um, they require cats now to have a rabies shot vaccination. I've don't think Kitten's ever had one. I don't know if this is something new in Michigan or if this is something new everywhere. I'm not sure. So let me know in the comments below if you're a cat, if you're a cat owner and your cat has to have a rabies vaccination. Um, yeah, but they said Kitten looks great. Um, they thought Mozzie looked great. Come on, boys. Come out of the corner. Come out of the dirt. What are you doing over there, Marley? Come on. Um... They said Mozzie looked great and that his uh, his incision healed wonderfully. Um, so yeah, so everything went good at the vet. I'm going to now go inside and get those valances hung and show you guys how they look. And we'll see we'll see uh, if they look good or not. I, I'm hoping they do. I think they're going to. But you guys will have to give me your opinion since you guys did such a great job. Um, uh, especially the one subscriber. Gosh, I can't remember her name. I think it starts with an L. That's all I can see in my head is an L. Thank you for giving me such a great suggestion to turn my table around. So you guys will have to give me your input on how the valances look. Okay, I'm going to go inside and do that. Okay, guys, before I hang the valances, I totally forgot I had gotten this package and I wanted to share it with you guys. This is from Kathy. It's a metal schnauzer for our funds. And she wrote, Dear Kim, I saw this sign and knew it was for you. I envisioned it on your outside gate of your new fence. I guess Tom will have to approve that since he's in charge of the outside. <laughs> if you remember in one of my videos, I said he was, in he was in charge of doing the outside landscaping and taking care of everything. Please feel free to put it anywhere you will find joy in seeing it. From our family of Schnauzer of one to yours of six. Kathy and my girl, Zuri. Oh my goodness. And she sent a picture of Zuri. Let me show you guys. Isn't she beautiful? Thank you so much, Kathy. This is going to go on the gate to our fence. Excuse me, guys. I changed into some comfortable um, attire because I spilt my drink uh, when my husband, or husband, when my son and I, after we went to the vet, we picked up some lunch and the lid wasn't on the... Um, the cup, so it spilt on my lap. So I'm like, I'm getting in some comfy clothes. <laughs> Cause now all I'm gonna be doing is doing work around the house. I gotta paint, hang up those valances. So yes, I'm gonna put this on the fence. And it's funny because I was thinking about um, where I could get a sign made. Cause I was trying to think of a name uh, to put on the gate there on the fence. I was thinking like Schnellzer Farms, but we don't really live on a farm. I was thinking Schnellzer Acres, but we don't really have multiple acres we have almost one acre um so i was trying to think of a name of something i could put on the fence so if you guys can think of anything or cute little names put them in the comments below because i was thinking about having something made up to put on the gate so maybe i still could and then have it hanging over this metal schnauzer this thing is so cool thank you so much kathy i really appreciate it all right they are up and i am having a hard time it's been a little bit since I hung them up. I'm having a hard time filming these so you can see them because of all the light that comes in through the windows. Um, hopefully you guys can see what they look like. See if I go that way, they get a little dark. And here's this window over here. Oh, there, you can see that one pretty good. Let me see if I go this way. Yeah, I think... I think it just finishes off the window having some valances there. What do you guys think? I bought this um, gather sign at 
Meyer the other day, hung that up. I was looking for one at Hobby Lobby, but there's a really big, and I didn't want something really big um, up there. So yeah, there they are. I really like them. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Like I said, I didn't want them too long because I didn't want them to block the view. If I would have got, those are 12 inch ones. Um, and the ones I was looking at were like 17 inches. Look how much of the view I would lose with just five more inches hanging down. So, yeah, I really like them. You want to go out? You want to go see what your brothers are doing? Let's go see. Let's go see what they're doing out there. They've been in and out all day today because it's not too hot today. You guys playing? Are you guys playing, Max? <laughs> Were you playing? Huh? You was playing out there? Alright guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm cooking a pot of chili. And uh, I think I'm going to relax the rest of the night. Because my allergies have been terrible today. And I've got a terrible headache right now. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we will talk to you soon. Bye bye.